started on my skateboard going somewhere and I do that a lot so so I'm gonna go ahead and start this one not talking while I'm riding my skateboard right now I'm on my way to either the gas station or to this big superstore that's kind of near me guys look at that groundhog <laughs> do you guys see that oh no come back come back Jerry Allen 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 Al! Allen real quick I want to hit up the spot though this is a really fun free running spot so let me see what I can do yo what all right uh, yeah see ya. All right, all right, Jeremy, it's coming. Yes, I've got friends. Because I'm stoked that Jeremy is coming. You boys gonna do a side flip. Here we go. Solid session. I'm heading out now to meet up with Jeremy. So once I meet up with Jeremy, we're gonna head to that superstore, and then tonight I've got something I'm really excited to show you guys. It's probably the title and thumbnail of this video. Not sure yet though. We'll see. I'm coming, Jeremy. If someone sees me being this way, they're gonna think I'm nuts. So I'm here with Jeremy now. We are on our way to that sewer store. It's about three miles away. It's gonna be a long ride, but I think it's gonna be fun. This is Jeremy's last day before he goes to school. So we gotta live it up. <sighs> but we're on our way now. See you guys there. <laughs> All right guys, so we're about halfway to the store oh, now. And we came to this CrossFit gym. And we actually saw this CrossFit gym. I've never tried this before, but they have this big rope and pull-up bars. So we're gonna try the rope real quick. Before. All right, let's go. We are at the store now. We're gonna pick up some stuff. I'm super hungry and thirsty, so. <laughs> Bruh, is not the time. Get the camera out of my face. He's living through it. But alright everyone, so I am back home now and it is actually pretty late. And if you guys have watched more than like three of my videos, you guys probably know that a lot of times I get behind and I have to finish a video the next day. And this vlog is one of those days. What happened was I went to the store, got some stuff, picked up some food. I ate a ton of candy and sugar. That was not good. And then I said salut to Jeremy, headed home, and then I started editing the video I posted today. And now that video is up and it's 11.20. Uh, PM. But before we jump in time to the next day, I gotta talk to you guys about something real quick. Tucker's out. He's like, I'm not putting up with this light no more. I've been thinking about trying to get some sort of name for the viewers of my channel. But I just don't know, man, because it's like, I see a lot of people get names to their viewers. Tucker, a lot of times I'll see YouTubers get names to their viewers, and it can be pretty cringy. And if I get a name for you guys, I just don't want it to be cringy. But I do think it would be cool because I think it would add to the level of inclusiveness of this YouTube channel. So let me know what you guys think about me potentially getting a name for you guys down below. Not sure if it's the right move, so I just need some input from you guys. But alright guys, so it's pretty late now. Tucker's getting pretty tired, so I think I'm going to spin, spin it tomorrow, and I'll see you guys then. Peace. Alright everyone, so I am back and it is the next day and I'm going to be finishing up this video. Right behind me is something that I've wanted to do for about a week now. And what I've wanted to show you guys this whole vlog is my vlogging mod for my Joby Gorilla Pod. What the Joby Gorilla Pod is, for those of you who don't know, it is the bendy tripod that tons and tons of vloggers use. I got this tripod probably like half a year ago, maybe a little bit less, and I absolutely love it. The legs do get a little bit more flimsy the more you use it, but overall it's a great tripod and I highly recommend it if you guys want a tripod for vlogging. But I've been scheming 
mean about a few modifications for the past few days and for the end of this vlog we're gonna be going over what exactly I did. The first modification that I did and probably the most obvious is I painted it. What I did is I took painter's tape and I wrapped up in between these little rubber band things but I did my best and I think it came out pretty cool. The next modification I did I'm pretty stoked about it. The day we dropped my brother off for college he noticed that this bottle cap I had fit perfectly on the side of the screw which tightens and loosens the ball head on the top so I went ahead and took the bottom of a GoPro mount and I hot glued it to the top of the bottle cap and now I can actually just put a GoPro on the side of the tripod without making it a permanent attachment which is super nice. The reason why this could be beneficial is because sometimes when I'm vlogging I want to film what's happening but I also want to get my reaction so what I can do with this is I can flip the GoPro around to be facing me and then I can be filming the action with the big camera or I can do it vice versa where I'm filming the action with the GoPro and I'm filming myself with the DSLR. So I thought that was super cool. The nice thing about the bottle caps is that you can put things on the side of the tripod without it being a permanent attachment and the options you can do with the bottle caps is pretty much limitless. If I wanted to take a fidget spinner and put it on a bottle cap and place it on the side of my tripod I could do that. So that really opens the door to really be able to put anything you want as long as it's small enough on the side of your tripod which is pretty cool. The last modification I did is pretty small is I just put this little wrist strap around the top. The reason why I did this is because I'm daily vlogging right now so I carry my camera around with me all the time using this gorilla pod so it's nice just to have another level of protection in case I drop it but if I also want to just carry it around dangling like that I can do that. It may be small but it does seem pretty durable so I think I can trust it. So yeah everybody so that was just a quick roundup of the modifications I did to my tripod. I think it's really cool and it just makes the tripod feel more like it's my own but yeah that's pretty much it. Not too much else to say. But alright everybody so if you guys enjoyed this video be sure to give it a big thumbs up. If you guys didn't enjoy it for whatever reason give it a thumbs down because it helps me know what you guys think about these videos. Also if you guys are new I've been posting daily for almost a month now so be sure to check out my other vlogs, tutorials, and challenges and things like that. But I actually have to start tomorrow's vlog so I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace.